Hi everybody, welcome to More of the Money. I'm Mark Manella. Stephen Balance. And we're glad you're with us as we talk about everything financial from a biblical point of view. Mm. It's, uh, so one of the things that we want to discuss today, uh, as we move forward, you know, we're, we're going to be bringing you a, a whole stewardship series as Mark talked about on the last show. On Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, yes. Right. Um, and so Mark, you normally talk about uh, stocks and how you can invest it with biblical integrity, you know. Uh, Excuse me. But one of the things that I, I noticed don't get mentioned as much that's in the financial arena is bonds. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what, uh, like, well, for the viewers, what is a bond? Um, okay. I mean, we know all about stocks. You've told us a lot. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Fighting a little bit of a cold yeah. here. Oh, we went all fuzzy. How did we go all fuzzy? Oh, yeah. So right, yeah, well. bonds. Bonds are um, actually, it's really simple. Stock is ownership. Bond okay. is your lending money to a company. Okay, so you're not buying into the company. No, when you buy a bond, you're actually just lending them the money, and they're going to pay you in interest and then pay your money back, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, folks. <coughs> uh, sorry. So, ah, so you're essentially, um, it's almost the reverse of a, a stock then. You're not buying into the company, you're just lending. Yeah, and it's essential we understand this because you're lending money to a corporation. And um, by understanding that, it, it changes it. You do not have any ownership, so you don't have any of the responsibility of ownership. Oh, okay. But there's other things involved in it. And even if we look at um, the Bible, we see that in Deuteronomy... <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. That God talking to the Israelites, he says, if you follow my voice, you'll be lenders to nations, many nations. Mm, okay. And that'll be a blessing to you. Okay. And if you don't follow my voice, my, oh. my guidelines, you'll be the borrowers, and that'll be a curse to you. So mm. essentially we see that God's telling Israel, being in a position to lend is a blessing, being in a position to have to borrow is a curse mm. so um, lending blessing borrowing curse um, so that's what he's telling them now with that said many people would say so if I lend money to corporations by buying bonds it's kind of like I'm being blessed and I'd say maybe it's possible yeah that makes sense uh, yeah and the reason I say maybe is because um, <coughs> Just like stocks, there are responsibilities, and, and we have to think about that. Um, if someone's purchasing bonds, lending money to a corporation, mm. then they may be participating in a blessing. I say may because the same concepts of stewardship apply to bonds as they do stocks. Mm. See, stewardship means you're in control of God's money for God's purposes to his glory, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me give you an example in the form of an imaginary letter written from a foxhole in Iraq. And this is from my soon-to-be-released book on, on investing with biblical integrity to, to illustrate why, it wouldn't, why there are circumstances where it wouldn't be good to be lending to a corporation. Hmm. So here's the story. So first set it up. This is, a, this is a, back in the Iraqi war. This may be an American soldier writing from a foxhole to his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Dear Sally, I miss you and the kids so much. It seems like it's been forever since I've been home and I've seen so much blood and pain and destruction. I lost both of my friends in a battle just this last week. Remember Bob? He's on his way home, lucky guy. Though I don't know if his legs will ever heal right. But on another note, the enemy doesn't seem to be able to replace equipment or keep supplied. I believe they're running out of money to finance their war against us. Recently, I saw they were issuing bonds to raise money to fight us, uh, the, but they're promising a huge interest. Uh, they're promising to pay huge interest. Hey, maybe we should loan them the money. Sure, they're the enemy, and it may advance their cause, uh, even cause us to be captured or defeated or worse, uh, killed. But. Think of the return. <laughs> so, and that seems, uh, I don't know, that, that almost seems like, um, 
it would be absolutely insane. That I mean, only totally ridiculous. Some type right. of maniac would fund fund the, the enemy, enemy right? right? Yeah, fund the enemy you're fighting against, and your yeah. life is on the line with exactly. That's the whole point of this. Just for a little bit of, of possible interest. Can you imagine that though? I mean, and and that's exactly what we're talking about. But if a Christian has, if we believe in the sanctity of life, if we believe in caring and loving for others, mm. why would we ever lend money to the enemy? And who's the enemy? It's a, it's a, the in the investment industry. It would be those people who are perpetrating, who are profiting mm. from, who are who are promoting anti-biblical concepts, morals, mm. trying to create and harm others for a profit, using and abusing others. So effectively, if we buy bonds in a company, <coughs> I'm so sorry, buy bonds in a company that is profiting or promoting immoral lifestyles, mm. harming others, or those kind of things, we are actually lending money to the enemy. Mm. Now, on, on a slightly other note, I know we're, we're talking a lot about lending, um, but that almost brings to mind for me the thought of what about outside the, um, the financial arena? Say, say not bonds. Is, is lending still a blessing or is it just count as in a financial world? Yeah. I mean, <coughs> what, what, what would you what would you say? Um, you know, that's that's almost a tricky question, but I would answer okay. it really simply is that if you're in a position where you have extra money you can lend, I would say you've been blessed. Okay, that makes okay. sense, yeah. And if you're in a position to where where you need to borrow mm. to just make things uh, happen, then not so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... Uh, but it goes deeper than that. Maybe we should do a whole show on debt, which oh, we'll probably yeah. do during the series coming up on Tuesday mornings at 11.30 on stewardship. Yeah, we, we have a whole stewardship series, and we'll have everything lined out on uh, debt and the what the four classes of, of stewardship, and uh, we can't give everything away, obviously, <laughs> but pretty soon... Um, I, don't know, I, I think Mark even mentioned possibly uh, doing a book on stewardship. Is that right? No? Yeah, Am we, I just making stuff no, up? No, we, we also uh, are working on that. Okay. We also are working on that. So, so we have several things that will be coming out. All to help you to realize that life is... So much more. The money. God bless everyone. Right. And thank you for putting up with my coffee. <laughs>